Hello everyone. In this video, we will be implementing class middleware in our NetJS project. So for now, what I have uh, done is I have gone gone to this user um, directory and then created a middleware directory and then created this response dash time dot middleware dot ts file. <coughs> So right now what I am trying to do is I am trying to create a middleware which figures out like how much time does it take for my API to return a response after it has received a request. It can be used for some sort of monitoring uh, purpose. For example, you can uh, utilize this to store uh, in your monitoring database like how much each of your requests is uh, taking the time uh, to complete. So let's go ahead and try and implement this so the very first step would be for you to like importing the necessary stuff so import injectable as well as nest middleware from nice is common and then import request response and next function from express so these are the things that we, you need to import next you have to uh, like create a class export class response time middleware and this this you can name this anything right uh, but right now i'm trying to create a middleware by the name of response time that is why i have named it as response time middleware whatever the class you create here it needs to implement nest middleware that is the key part that you have to remember and after that what you have to do is you have to put on an injectable decorator that is the basics of how and uh, how the middleware should be created in terms of class so now go ahead and create a function a method like this so this method as i told you earlier uh, needs to have a request a response and a next argument so the type of the request is coming from here from express re req for the res variable which is response the type is response from express and for this next function the type is next function which is also coming from express next go ahead and then just call this next function so if you do nothing then and call this next function so this middleware currently does nothing uh, the request comes here and then goes ahead we are not performing any operation here but the code of middleware is complete at this point now we have access to this request as well as this response variable and you can go ahead and try a lot of things here so let's move with this what i'm trying to do right now is i am using the default date dot now method and then storing it into my variable start time next what i'm doing here is uh, let me explain it to you so res this is the name of the variable for the response okay so what i'm doing is i am listening for an event which is called finish so i am trying to see i i have put on a kind of a listener it is like uh, if you have learned about event emitters and listeners in basic and plain javascript then you would know that we can attach our listeners to any kind of emitters in our javascript domain so what i have done is i am listening to an event of finish whenever a response is finished from my api i need to listen to it and this event handler is called on whenever the response is finished i hope this is clear now what i'm going to do is i am going to put this code here let's see what it does so just like this start time i have placed end time variable for date dot now so you need to understand that this start time will be executed as soon as it receives the request but this will only be executed when the response is sent right so that is what a bit of a tricky part here is so next what you have to do is you have to um, what i have done here is i mean is i have created another variable name uh, response time which subtracts end time from start time this will give me like for example let's say if i got a request at 12 am and it goes at 12 15 am then that difference would be 15 minutes something like that you know in simplest terms and then i am simply logging it out you can if you want you can store this response time into your database or into your redis cache or wherever you want to do it it is just for a demonstration purpose for the use case of middleware so let's save it and we are done are we no uh, what is the next crucial step that we have to do we have created a middleware but we also have to register it so 
as i said that there are two methods of registering a module uh, registering a middleware one way is to register it within your module and second one is to register it globally for now we will try and register it in our global in our user module so let's go to user module and try to register this middleware only in our user module so for, for starter you have to import nest module as well as middleware consumer from nest.js common and then what i'm doing here i am importing my response time middleware from my middleware and this particular file now what i have done here is uh, let me see right now we only had this empty class export class user module so what i did here is i implemented this this user module implements nest module and then i placed this particular boilerplate code what it does is i am trying to configure my user module with the response time middleware so it can it takes one argument which is consumer and the type of the consumer is middleware consumer so consumer dot apply and in this apply i have to give the name of the middleware so this piece of code applies that middleware which i want to apply uh register the middleware which i want to apply okay so consumer dot apply dot for routes and dot static means it is applicable to all of the routes for this particular module okay so hit save and let's go ahead and try to see my application is running so i'm trying i will go and open my postman and see i have localhost 3000 user so uh, let me show you my user controller here as well user and user controller and if i go to the simple post request here uh, this post request simply logs out create user dto and the time is 33 ms let me hit it send again and it's 7 and now it's 12 and now it's 3 so it is a bit uh, variable let's go ahead and try to do something so we are sure that this start time and end time is actually working so what i will do now is i am going to make my method as async so that i can use await this is type of a this is kind of a async await programming language in javascript or typescript so this method is now my async method and i have placed this line here right what this line does is it is a promise which resolves exactly after two seconds so that means that right now this is like a let's say a simulation of wherever maybe you can call a database or a redis or, or an api or whatever you want to call i am trying to simulate certain certain delay so that we can verify whether our response uh, time that we are trying to calculate from middleware is working or it's not working so hit save here and uh, let's see now so the file is supposed to be saved sending request and see we are up after two zero which is like two second uh two thousand millisecond means two second right so if i hit send it will never go below two thousand milliseconds see 16 and see so our middleware here is working perfectly fine so this was all about class middleware in the next video we will be uh, looking forward towards our functional middleware thank you for watching